Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonah. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Some real controversial news coming out of Cleveland from the hometown. I, you know what? I've been seeing this lighting up the timeline, but I have no idea of what is actually uh, happening. So the Cleveland Browns. What have they done? They have always had an open air stadium that has been near the lake. Yes, the Gundarina. Yeah. The, the Jake. Yeah, all of those. Exactly. The Q. Uh, part of Cleveland football is wind, bad weather, snow. Yeah. Like, get out queen. there. Yes. It's, you're on the goddamn coast of Lake Erie in the winter. It is so cold in there. Yeah. And, like, your beer will freeze. All the things. It's a party experience. I've been to the winter games. At, yeah, they at, suck. But you yeah. know what? You put you put those hand warmers in your boots. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah you you got to do it. If you haven't frozen at the Quicken Loans, you don't even know. Yeah, what you're doing. yeah, exactly. What, what's the name of the Brown Stadium? Uh, it was, I think it's First Energy Stadium now. Okay, but they, okay. it used to just be called Cleveland Brown Stadium. Okay. for a long time. Yeah. Um, it was the old one was Cleveland Municipal Stadium. The the, the old one from yeah. like the eighties. Um. So, the new owner of the Browns, I mean, he's been the owner for a while now, Jimmy Haslam, okay. he's, he's not very popular with the fan base. I mean, way more popular than the guy who moved them out of the city. Um, <laughs> Art Modell. Yeah, Art Modell. Uh, but he was, I mean, he's been successful, which I thought that they had to vote on this, but he has announced that he is moving the stadium from the, the shoreline of Lake Erie to Brook Park, Ohio. Which is over by the airport. By the airport. Yeah. And and the worst part about it is he's building a dome. <sighs> really? He, but they do, the, the reason they said they did it is because they want to build it in almost like a complex where there's a stadium, there's shopping, there's, there's a big plot yeah. of land over there. Yeah, there's still a part of the, uh, the rapid system, which is like the, uh, the Cleveland. Cleveland train. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's well, like a subway that's, that's not like, underground. Um, like, when I went and saw a Patriots game at the Patriots Stadium, mm -hmm. that's kind of what – it's like there's nothing in Foxborough, but the stadium's there, and then there's, like, a ton of shopping and plazas and stuff all around it. It's a big, like, draw for that area, right? Yeah. So imagine that's what he's trying to do, yeah. bring in money, bring in people. But, like, that getting over there sucks. Like, that part well, of town sucks. It's right by the airport at least, but – Yeah, I mean, if it's – if it's by the airport, I'm I'm assuming that they would have a way for you to get from like from the rapid to it, you know. Right, but like a dome, bro. I I agree is that the dome is probably kind of disingenuous to like the Cleveland experience. Like, uh, but I, how do the players feel about it? I wonder. Oh, I don't know. They probably are like, oh, we won't be cold. Yes. <laughs> Like honestly, I mean, it, it would just, you would you go to more games if it were climate I mean, control? I them when I had season tickets anyway. Yeah, but, but if it were climate control, oh my god, you... if I could go and not wear a coat, <laughs> it's way, I mean, it is way better. Okay then, I'm not gonna say it's not. Okay then, yeah, but I think what they what I think the whole point of all of this is yeah. to try to bring a Super Bowl to Cleveland because it'll be a brand new state of the art stadium. Yeah. Which, which that's usually where the NFL puts the Super Bowl because it's climate controlled. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. Like yeah. they did it at the Giant Stadium and it was super cold for the because it's outdoor. They could do the Super Bowl in February in Cleveland if it's a dome. Yeah. And that would bring a ton of commerce and stuff to Cleveland mm -hmm. and, you know, and, uh, and all that. But, the, I mean, there's always an ulterior motive. I do want to say is that. Like the Brook Park area, while it is a little bit nicer and less congested than where the Brown Stadium is currently, it, it's not like it's not like the best. It's not like super like crazy nice or anything. It's, nope, it sure is. It's not like a lot of shit going on out there. No, I, there's not. And it's, if you were downtown Cleveland, you would have like the well, casinos. Well, they built up and, downtown, like the, the the Jake, the Gundarina. I mean, they're not called that anymore. I don't remember the hell they're called now. Yeah, the casino. But yeah, there's the casinos, there's the nightlife, they there's the nightclubs. Exactly. There's so much uh, downtown. I just don't really see is that that being the ideal location. Now, if it's close to like the rapid or even the airport. It is. I, it's like right. I mean, it's literally right next to the airport because the airport's in Berea. So then I could see like, you know, take, going from there and then hopping and going downtown. It maybe take you 15 minutes yeah, to get downtown. you can take downtown. an Uber from Brook Park to downtown. But yeah, or even hop is, on the rapid. Well, the problem is it's like everyone who lives on the east side of yeah. – like our hometown, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. 
that that's a lot longer of drive. <laughs> like that, if you're trying to get to the stadium or mm-hmm. you're trying to get all the way to freaking Brook Park, mm-hmm. especially in bad weather, mm-hmm. that adds like another 30, 40 minutes onto your trip. Yeah, to get out there does. one does. way. Like that's why I'm I'm a proponent for uh, the public transportation. Like I don't I used to go from like Euclid to Brook Park. Like I I used to work out by uh, what's the college out there? Bowling Green. Uh, Bo- Baldwin Wallace. Baldwin Wallace, I think, because Bowling, Bowling Green Wallace. is in, in a different city. All right, so Baldwin Wallace. Yeah, I used to work over by Baldwin Wallace. I used to have to take a bus, a train, and then another bus to get to work, but. It was it was way longer than driving. <laughs> when I think about it, dude. It sucked so bad. I did that shit for like four years. Oh my god, dude. The bus the bus and the uh the train are actually connected too. So you can use like one pass and you can oh, use really? them all. That's yeah. Cool. So at least it's cheap, but it yeah, takes a it while. Says, um, do I have any sort it's of better thing? than parking. <laughs> it guess. says they decided to go to the Dome Stadium. Oh. They scrapped the plans for a one point two billion renovation of the existing stadium in, in favor of a two point four billion state of the art facility in Brook Park, uh set to be completed in time for the twenty twenty nine season. So five years. Yeah. Until it's gonna be built. Um, it, it does seem unfortunate because the people of Cleveland have gotten very accustomed to that being the area for their uh their stadium. And it isn't a good area. It's close yeah. to the city. It's close to uh, where all the football players live in Bratton all. Yeah. So they're they're gonna have a longer commute. Yeah. They um. It the li- little blurb here. Even the, I think it was the mayor or whoever announced it said we can see and feel that our downtown is thriving. Our vision of redeveloping the lakefront is becoming a reality, and more and more businesses are choosing to invest in our great city. And then the Haslam's choice is to move the si- move the team further away from that. Yeah. Like, and it's like the Browns are like the like people love the Indians, people love the Cavs, but the Browns are the Cleveland team. So their training center is in Berea. Is in Berea, which is right next to Brook Park. Yeah, but so it's actually close. Like, you know, it's funny because when I used to go to the ball while when I worked out there, I used to pass it every day when I would go to work. And I was yeah, it's like, a nice place. I've went there for like you yeah. just, when we lived there. You can go there and watch training camp. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Like just go and watch the players, like because they're just outside. Yes. Around and yeah. Stuff. yeah. So it's it's actually it's it's closer for them in that aspect. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, I would all see the football would, players live on the west side anyway. That's the nicer side of town. Yeah. It's the, fair. Yeah. It's I, I would say I would want to know how the players feel about it, and then like honestly, I mean, they probably don't care. Honestly, it probably will bring some more players to the city because they don't have to play in the cold. Yeah, that's true. Is this a tax thing? Are people in the? Oh, I'm sure. It? I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that the city of Cleveland is paying for it. So you mean the people of yeah the, yeah Cleveland. that's what I mean the people of Cleveland are okay. playing for it. yeah right. I'm sure fair enough yeah it's what it's, if what uh, if I don't want to pay I, for a new stadium in my taxes yeah good luck bye leave like everybody else leave <laughs> you either pay for the stadium or get out yeah exactly uh, what was it uh, prisoner death <laughs> so but yeah man like it's it's I mean it's five years away I mean it's well five seasons away. So four more full seasons at, at the stadium. So are we gonna are we gonna make a trip down there in five years? Go see I will a game probably go see a game. In you the next have five years. to, right? Well, like I almost to. went to a game when I was home last year. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't remember why I didn't end up making. Oh, because my cousin I was staying with, like a family member, passed away, and he had to go out of his wife's family, and he had to like go out of town. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna drive out there by myself, and. <laughs> All that because tickets were super expensive and stuff too. So, but yeah, I do want to at least go see one more game in that stadium. Uh, I had season tickets there for many years, five years probably. So, lots of fun stuff. I don't like it's, but here's the thing it sucks. It's like takes away the classic tailgating lots. It takes, it's like, uh, you know, you get to build new ones in Brook Park. What's wrong with Brook Park, man? What, what should be for Brook Park? You ever been over there? Uh, duh, you live there. I didn't live in. I lived in Parma. Thank you. I'm close enough. It was just as bad. Close enough. It's all bad. It is all. There. I mean, Cleveland's bad. Ohio's bad. Ohio's a bad state. I, but I love it, and I yeah. can say it because I grew up there. You can't because you didn't. <laughs> yep. Don't talk ish about it, but I will. Yeah, I'm allowed to talk ish about it. Yeah. Just like you can talk about your UK biscuits and waffles, or whatever the hell you eat your beans on toast. <laughs> Are you freaking Canadian? What are you talking about you, right now, you freaking Canadians, with your freaking uh, what do you call it? You, you, you your the, full English. You need a little Putin. Putin? Why, why no. we call it they, P- Putin? Putin. No, nah, they call it Putin. Call it Putin. They call it Putin up there. Because they're really Russian. Guy. Putin. 
Lord. Putin. Anyways. Anyway. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com. And don't be Brazilian. I swear to God. Wow, dude. You're really pulling hate out today. TNT. <laughs> we out.